Hey guys, it is Earl Mann on my weekly share of things learned along the way. Mostly learned the hard way <laughs> in the world of startups and related crazy things. So today I want to talk about a couple of ideas that are very common to people in the world of startups or even people in the world of complex sales or um, in roles where you need multiple individual buy-ins from different departments and from different people, etc. So there's going to be some things that are quite common um, among those areas. And I think today's kind of insight can be put into the bucket of maybe leadership, a little sales, or a little influence, right? Because uh, these ideas all factor into leadership, effective leadership, effective sales, and effective influence. And the first idea is the idea of herding cats. If you uh, if you're in, a, if you're an entrepreneur or you're in a multi-divisional, multi-input required sales cycle, then you know the concept of herding cats well. And although the herding cats may seem impossible to do, because cats are for the most part highly individual, um, very unique, and for the most part untrainable, it may seem uh, pretty impossible to herd cats. Um, the other way to look at it is that all cats are driven by internal um, instinct drives and motives, right? All cats are, 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 are drawn towards certain things. That's why catnip works and cat litter works. And most cats actually avoid certain common things. Loud, abrupt noises, um, cucumbers, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> if you've not seen the videos of cats and cucumbers on, on, on the internet, you have to go check those out. They're very funny. When a cat suddenly walks up on a cucumber, they're like, terrified. I guess they think it's a snake or an alligator or something, but it's pretty funny. My point though is that cats have these already built-in internal drives and instincts that if you can leverage them well, you can head them in the direction you want them to go. So um, many people try to hurt cats by trying to force the individual to do what they want them to do and then to do that in the aggregate. And that's very, very, very hard to do. Another thing to do would be able to frame the conversation and our project in a way that you can leverage what you discover their individual built-in drives and motives to already be. And then you will find them headed down the right direction and from the outside looking in, you will be herding those cats. The second thing is uh, the idea that you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink. And as true as that might be, it is also very true that if you take a horse out and you run that horse and run that horse and run that horse and run that horse, run that horse and run that horse and run that horse and run that horse, and, that horse, and then take them to water, you don't have to make them drink. <laughs> Another way I would put that idea is that if you can put, if you can, you know, the leader walks to water is another way of saying you can, you can give somebody in advice or you can, you can point people in the right direction, but you can't make them take it or do it. Um, so my take on that would be that the, the, the effective strategy would be to have them come face to face with the difference between what you're suggesting they do and what they are currently doing or what they just did, right? Um, so if you have, if you're telling your sales reps that they need to research clients before they meet with them, then um, if you post the meeting, if you look at how the meeting went and you identify and you have them um, tell you the problems that they had or the challenges that they had, and if you can right there tie them to them not having, would not have been there if they did the research, if you can just point that out you're suddenly making that very big point that had they taken your advice or if they start taking your advice, the results would be better. Now, in the event where, um, you, conf where you have somebody confronted with the delta between the difference between what they do, what your suggestion is in the context of their actual result, and they still refuse to take that suggested action, then what you have is a person that's really miscasted. They're in the wrong place doing the wrong thing, or at least at the wrong time, either in the, in the life cycle of your business, the division, or their life, and you need to make a hard adjustment. The final thing is you can get, find a way to do these two things, um, get that horse to drink and herd those cats, then you will essentially be boiling the ocean. <laughs> you will be doing something that from the outside seems impossible to do and too hard for most people to attempt to do, but entrepreneurs do it all the time. It's actually their job description. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found something useful in there. 
and I will see you next week.